Hey, what's up, YouTube? Zach Hickson here. Um, I'm not using a screen recorder today, so you're going to have to watch this through my iPod's camera that I have attached to an iPod tripod. Um, but I'm not using a screen recorder because during the course of this tutorial, I'm going to be experiencing high CPU usage, and I'm going to end up closing Explorer and stuff like that, so my screen recorder would be unable to run. Um... So a lot of people across the internet have been experiencing these corrupt wave files. Well, I don't know if technically they're corrupt wave files, but basically the problem is if this works. These are all the people by the way that give me free music or copyright free music. Hit them up on SoundCloud if you want to uh ask them about using their music. They're all really good. Um but as you can see, there's a wave file in this folder. And that little green discovery bar will go, 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 go. And basically, I'm not going to wait because it takes forever. But it gets down to about here and then just stops. And it will just stay there forever. And that's a pain, but like whatever. Who cares, right? Um, but even more of a problem. Whoops, 20% battery on my iPod left. If you open this wave sound, well, first off, the second you click it, CPU usage shoots up to 70% and just keeps climbing. I'm going to exit this out before it gets too high um, and process. And you have to forcefully close Windows Media Player because it hangs. Um, and as you can see, the CPU usage is still at 53%. And now it's going up to... It basically hangs around there, and if you try to open the file again, it goes up even further. It tops out of the tops out at about 99%, and it won't go down from there. Um, I think the problem with this is either using RecordBox is running a WAV file through RecordBox, KeyFinder, and Tractor. I think it's a combination of KeyFinder and RecordBox, or KeyFinder and Tractor. Um, something about trying to write the key to the WAV file, I think, messes it up. Um, but a lot of you are probably saying, why don't you just delete this file if you're not familiar with this problem? Well, if you hit delete, it prepares to recycle forever. Um, so I'm not going to do that. And also the CPU usage is the, the CPU usage is, 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 is spikes up again. Um, and it again, won't go back down until you restart the computer. So how do we fix this? Well, I found a simple solution that sometimes works. Um, well, actually it works most of the time. That's why I'm trusting it to work right now. I'm gonna have to set up this little tripod thing. Sorry if it's a little sideways. Um, you're just gonna have to deal with it. So, I wish I could get this further away. Um, okay, so for, well, actually first off, in Task Manager, I'm going to Go to Processes, and then I'm going to Sort by Image Name, and then scroll down until I see Explorer.exe, and then I'm going to end the process. And you're going to see everything drops out. You're going to see no taskbar, Windows Explorer window is going to drop out. So, hit app, uh, so you're going to go to File, whoops. New task run, and you're going to type CMD and hit OK. And that's going to start up command prompt. Now, you're going to navigate to the part where you stored it. So, if you don't know how to do this, you use CD to go to a new, th uh, to go to a new directory. So, if I hit CD dot dot, CD dot dot, and then I hit dir. D-I-R is the directory, so all contents. So this is my C drive. I probably shouldn't be showing this. Um, I'll edit this out, whatever. Um, and then if I wanted to go to users, I would type, say, um, CD users. And then now I'm in users folder, and I can go CD Zach. And then I can go CD desktop and then I can type dir and there's all the folders and stuff on my desktop um, and there's you know a song that I just downloaded and stuff like that 
and I can go in, I can edit things, I can open things, I can do stuff like that. Anyways, this is on my Z drive, so I'm going to go Z colon, switch to my Z drive, uh, and then I forgot the directory here. I'm going to go into my Zuni, uh, the Zuni games directory, so CD, and then if it, there's a space in it, you're going to put a space, or you're going to have to put it in quotations. So, this is, all the naming conventions are really old because I created this a while ago. So I'm going to go into Zuni games, I'm going to go into stock, I believe. Now, this will be all different for you, depending on where you are. Uh, or depending on how your files are set up. But anyways, I'm going to navigate to where I have the problem file that I want to delete. So, let's see here. Stock, copyright free music, that's where it is. Wait, what? Oh, I, I misspelled copyright. Let's see, I think it's O M F B L G, I think was the problem guy that I was having trouble with. Yeah, there we go. So you can see right here freak.wave. That's what we want to get rid of. So you're going to type in erase. And then in quotations, you're going to type in the song title, so freak.wave, and then you're going to type in dot .h, or dash .h, space, dash .s, space, dash .r, and then you're going to hit enter. And then if you look, that file is no longer there. Now, I don't know if this will work for you. It's worked for me. I've also had... Um, I've also had luck where it's still there, and then I just restart the computer and it's gone, or I restart the computer and try to erase it again, and it works. Um, I've never tried doing this in safe mode, because unfortunately pressing F8 doesn't enter me in safe mode, and I don't feel like digging around for another solution on how to boot into safe mode, considering I found this problem. Or I found the solution, sorry. Um, and then after you're done, if you want to boot, or if you want to... Oh no, it's not over there. Once you're done and you've erased all the files, type explorer.exe and hit enter. And immediately everything else comes back. So, I hope you found this informative. I hope it helped somebody because this was horrible for a while. I couldn't use any of this music in any of my videos because just opening it in some other program would cause my CPU levels to fly to 100%. And... So it was really a pain. I had to re-download almost all the music. Um, yeah, so now I fixed it, and I hope this helped somebody. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, consider subscribing. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, leave me a comment below, and see you next time.